All right, now usually we discuss about Samsung Galaxy phone related videos, but today we've got something special. We've got Pixel 9 Pro here, and we have received QPR2 Beta 1 for the Pixel phones, which brings in some interesting features. So I thought, why not showcase this to you guys? The first feature is lock screen widgets. Yes, Google has introduced lock screen widgets now on Pixel phones. When the phone is locked, all you need to do is just swipe towards the right. You can see I have added three cool widgets here. We've got Jimmy widget and I've got YouTube widget and there's a calendar widget and I have also added maps widget which I've not activated yet likewise we can add many more widgets here now this is brand new on Android but Samsung Galaxy phones did have this feature we could add the widgets using the lock star module on Galaxy phones we can have multiple different widgets from third-party apps as well as system apps right here on the lock screen itself. But here on the Pixel phones, the implementation is different and it is actually better than the Galaxy phones because the uh, widgets are not going to sit on the main lock screen here. Only when you swipe towards the right, you get the access to these widgets and uh, on the default lock screen, you get to see any beautiful wallpaper that you're going to set on the lock screen. You get to see the clock, notifications, all that will not be disturbed. All your widgets will be available when you swipe towards the right. And you can have multiple pages here as well. I'm sure there's a limit. I did not try that yet, but I could use two different pages with different widgets here. Talking about this new lock screen feature, let's go ahead. Let me tap on the settings here and tap on display and touch and scroll down here. You can see this brand new option, widget on lock screen. Now we have got the same toggle here to enable widgets on lock screen. And we also have this additional option when to automatically show these uh, lock screen widgets. When I tap on that, you can see we have got three different options, never, while charging, while upright and charging. Now the never is by default. When you scroll towards the right, then only you'll be able to see the uh, widgets. When you tap on while charging, the widgets will show up on the screen while charging. And we also have this option while upright and charging. If you're using a wireless charger, this may be useful. And that's about the widgets on the lock screen. Next cool feature is customizing the enhanced HDR brightness. Whenever we see a HDR video, it automatically brightens up the screen. If you're in the dark environment, then your eyes will get disturbed and many of us don't like that to happen. And now Google has introduced a brand new feature on Pixel using which we can customize the brightness level for the HDR content. Let me go to the settings here and tap on display and touch settings. And here we've got enhanced HDR brightness toggle. Let me just tap on this. It says brighten and expand the color range and clarity in high dynamic range images and videos, HDR content will appear brighter. And you can see this is the normal standard image and this is the HDR image. And when this happens, we sometimes kind of get irritated because of the brightness. So now we have got this intensity slider here. We can make it dim or we can make it bright. I would definitely prefer keeping this uh, somewhere at the center here. I do not want my screen to light up so brightly when uh, there is an HDR image or any other HDR videos or contents on the screen. So that's a very, very useful feature which we now have on Pixel phones. Next, we finally now have some uniformity, some consistency on the icon colors or themed icons. As you can see on the home screen, all these icons have got the theme that we have set. Even the third party applications have got the scheme here. As you can see, these are the default system applications, which has got the color scheme. And here is a third party application called Kite. This has also got this color scheme, the theme here, which is good to see. Now, let me just add another third party application from the app tray, maybe uh, Geo Hotstar. Let me just add this on the home screen. Here we go. We have got some effect here. Similar theming is applied, but that is not perfect yet. The theming or the color on this icon is lighter compared to the other default icons here. But hey, it's good to see Google working on this particular feature to provide consistency when it comes to themed icons. Next, let me press and hold on the home screen here, tap on widgets. And now you can see we have got a different tab over here. We've got two different options, featured and browse. Under featured, you will get to see some suggestions here. If you want to pick something from here, you can do that. Or if you want to browse, you can tap on browse and you'll be able to add any widgets from here. Now, for example, let me tap on one of the widgets here. Let's say calendar widgets. And now this looks similar to the One UI. We've got all these widgets one below the other compared to the horizontal setup we had on the previous versions of Android. That's another change with respect to the widgets. Now let me press and hold on the home screen, tap on wallpaper and style. And here let's tap on icons. Here we have got a different layout for these options. We've got three different options at the bottom now. We've got default. When you tap on default, you will get the default icons here. And I'm not sure why these themed icons are called minimal. 
uh, that's what it's called now. And we have got create option, which is not currently working. Maybe using this feature, we will be able to customize the icons. Maybe in the future, we will get some shape customization options for the icons. Let's wait and see. I will keep you guys posted. Now, those are some interesting and useful feature on Android 16 QPR2 Beta 1. Let me know what are your thoughts. Do you think even Samsung should implement uh, something similar to Pixel phones as far as the lock screen widgets are concerned? Drop a comment and let me know. That's about it. That's all I wanted to share with you guys in this video. If you haven't downloaded our wallpaper application yet, go ahead, check out the Wallverse wallpapers. The link is in the description for you to download we keep adding almost about 10 to 15 new wallpapers every day and the new categories will be added every now and then so go ahead check it out the link is in the description and while you do that be sure to subscribe to the channel give this video a like if you find this video informative thanks for watching you guys take care and stay safe cheers bye bye